When a man comes to St. John Vianney Seminary, he goes to college. We are sitting in the middle of a real college campus, the University of St. Thomas. There are 10,000 students here, 5,000 undergraduates, men and women, people of all religions and backgrounds, and our seminarians are students here. They're taking courses, going to the cafeteria and the gym, and participating in other activities. The beauty of this, the value of doing this, is that these young men, to be a seminarian means not to go and join a monastery, not to cut themselves off from the real world, but to become someone who serves everyday people in all walks of life. St. John Vianney is located in St. Paul, Minnesota, which is a beautiful part of the country because we have the full four seasons. And each of the four seasons have their own beauty. In fall, as the leaves turn color, and even winter, we have the beautiful snowfalls. And sometimes, a seminary formation and discernment can almost echo the change of the seasons. We, we have wonderful periods of, 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 of great light, great color. But we also have dark days, days that look like, like the quiet days of winter, where there can be some inner turmoil, there can be struggle, there's a process of letting go, and seminary is a place where young men come for healing. A tremendous amount of healing occurs at the seminary. I like to say that this is a place where miracles happen, and I've seen so many over the years. The second thing that we're well known for is we take the Catholic life seriously. We're not ashamed to be Catholic. We believe in the Catholic Church, its teachings, its tradition, its worship, its sacraments, period. We love the Holy Father. We love the Blessed Mother. We love the Holy Eucharist and the sacraments. We are Catholic and not ashamed of it. If a man comes to St. John Vianney Seminary, he's coming to get a traditional Catholic formation. And you will learn to pray. You will learn to be a stronger Catholic. You'll learn to explain the faith, to defend the faith. It's a great Catholic seminary, and we're very proud of that. SJV does a phenomenal job at, at giving each guy one-on-one -on -one time with priests uh, to walk with. To have a man that's been a priest for 45 years walk with me and to meet with me, that's such a blessing. There's nowhere else that you can go outside of seminary uh, to get that. Our seminarians are considering whether there might be a call to priesthood. And so they attend spiritual direction every two weeks with a priest for a confidential meeting where they can talk, really talk, talk honestly about their faith, the struggles of their faith, the struggles of living the life of a Christian in today's world, and of thinking about the priesthood. The most challenging part to being a seminarian in this day and age is discerning a call to be a man of celibacy. Celibacy is scary to men. I mean, the fact is we're, we're here as guys, mostly between the ages of 18 and 24, that really like girls and really are attracted to women. Part of what's so hard about living chaste in today's society is so often you are alone. You're the only one at your public high school who, who wants to live chaste. And so you come to seminary and you have this preconceived notion that, that chastity and specifically celibacy is hard. Um, because all you've ever done is, is by yourself. Something our late Holy Father told the young people, do not be afraid. And the beauty of, of studying at seminary is that you're surrounded by guys who are living out the challenge together and that you're not alone. You come to seminary, you realize chastity is, is, is again a community lived thing. We help each other. We rely on each other, we support each other. We're all in this together. We're all seeking God's will together. And, and this brotherhood is really, really strengthens us. 
this companionship. Uh, with God's grace, I know that it's possible and that uh, he will take us through it and he will walk us through it and he will provide us with every means to, to not only survive celibacy, but to embrace it and to, to turn that gift over to God's people. When our Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, he walked and his disciples walked with him. In fact, some of the images for Christianity were the way, the walk, the path of life. And when a man joins St. John Vianney Seminary, he's beginning to take a particular walk with the Lord. He's walking with him through his fears, through his doubts, through his hopes, through his dreams, just like the first disciples did. And when a man begins this walk here at St. John Vianney Seminary, he can't be sure, none of us can be sure of all that the Lord has. But behind all of this is the Lord. It's the Lord Jesus Christ who calls us. And that's what gives seminarians at St. John Vianney Seminary the faith to take the next step. They don't know. No young person can be sure of what the Lord's calling is. But we know we must take the next step with Jesus Christ.